Well, I'm joined by uh, Russell Martin and Wes Hulahan, two familiar faces, of course. With this big game coming up, gents, how much are you looking forward to it? Massive yeah, game. massive. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a good game. Hopefully, we can, uh, you know, team Wes can win. You know, get one over on Russ. It'll be nice. Yeah, it's um, it's been it's been being discussed about for a while, a while now. So to uh, finally announce it and and uh, get it up and running, it will be. Um, Looking forward to it. It'll be it'll be a brilliant day. It'll be a, it'll be a special day. We really appreciate the the club are doing it for us, and um, it's our way of saying thanks really to to fans uh, first and foremost, and ex teammates that have played a huge part in it since we've been here, and, and the staff as well. So um, we're looking forward to it. It'll be it'll be a little reunion of sorts of other people we haven't seen for a long time that obviously played here with us and stuff. So um, it should be a really positive day. Yeah, we'll get stuck into that in a minute. How um how's it all come about? Yeah, obviously uh, we've been here a, w a long time, and uh, you know, uh, Stuart's came up with the idea. About, obviously, he worked out with the Inter Milan game, and that went out well. So uh, it's great that you know me and Russ can get the opportunity to play play next season. Isn't it? And it, it's obviously going to be a great s celebration of your guys' careers. But you're also going to get the chance to raise a fair bit of money too for for different causes, isn't it? We've got a third going to the Community Sports Foundation, build the nest, and you two are getting to choose some of your own causes too. Yeah, it's great, you know, to give us uh, that money towards um, our charities. You know, the icing on the cake that we can give something back. Basically, it sounds really corny and cliche, but it is. It's um, when it was mentioned, and uh, I think we're both keen on on supporting the CSF, um, and then obviously. The club's given us a lot. We don't just want to run off with some money and go. Thank you very much. So it's uh, it's, it's going to charities that are close to our hearts that we've either been involved in or are still involved in now. Um, and uh, the fact that we can do that and and be part of the day and and, and just the whole the whole thing around it really the whole celebration of it is um, it, it will hopefully be it will be special for us and the families. I'm sure. Um, Wes, you've had a chance to say goodbye effectively and you beat Leeds, well done. Uh, I won't ask Russ this, I'll ask you, uh, I mean, how much should it mean that Russ gets a chance to say goodbye and the fans get a chance to say goodbye to Russ? Yeah, of course, you know, what Russ done for this club, you know, uh, the captain uh, in the Premier League, you know, um, to lift the trophy at Wembley, it was an amazing achievement and, uh, you know, he deserves a send off. Um, you know, he's been a great pro, but what he's done for this club outside, uh, it's been amazing. So um, it's great that he's getting a send off, he deserves. And I suppose the question is, we don't quite know where Norwich are going to be come the 6th of May. You know, it's the day after the last day of the season, gents. Um, go on, you talk about it. I can't bring well, myself. It's just, hopefully it's a big party for everyone. It'll be just be a continue the celebrations on them, give people a chance to come to Carrow Road and celebrate together. That, that's, that's the plan. That would be the, uh, that would, well, that would be a bonus for everyone. That would be amazing. Um, and with the team doing as well as they're doing now, I don't see any reason why that can't happen. But fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it's a uh, continued celebration of the day before. That'll be uh, that'll be the best thing. It'll be special. Yeah, it'll be very special. Obviously, you know, with uh, having a charity game and uh, for Norwich to get promoted, uh, it will be a special uh, double bubble. Right, that's it. We're not talking anymore about that because I don't yeah. want to crush anything. Uh, so the important stuff, teams. How are you going to pick? Because all these guys you're going to have played with, uh, are they just going to be Norwich, former Norwich players, or are we going to extend the net a bit? Uh, no, it's going to be former Norwich players that we've played with over the last 10 years. And... Um, the legends have been here as well over uh, the course of uh, their time so uh, we're getting uh, pulled together and hopefully uh, we can split the teams evenly yeah <laughs> okay and um, what are the rules are you got rules because i can imagine you sort of lining everyone up and going one well i'll have him we'll have them i think we're, we're gonna we're, sit we're down and we? yeah we'll discuss our ideal groups and then we'll have a look at it from there and then um i'll find a way to pull the wall over where's his eyes somehow and get the team that I want and the squad that I want and then we'll go from there but I think we want it to be balanced we yeah. want it to be a good game so we want to be entertaining we've, we've picked we've not picked but there's about 40 lads at the minute that we can um, that are really desperate to be involved and uh, position positionally actually works out alright so uh, we'll, we'll want a team that people are actually playing in positions that are relatively familiar to them and then um what, we want people to turn up and actually enjoy a good game of football as well so it's not just going to be I, we've got people now who've been retired a year or two who are desperate to get in shape for it so they'll be working hard <laughs> so it's not just going to be a game of Grand walking Holt. football yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, like, neither of us want the whole heat but uh, he's going to happen one too isn't he so yeah. we'll see. So that's good well we'll see who he plays for and know that you didn't want them that would be great <laughs> uh, well I hope it goes brilliantly of course gents fantastic luck just one question of course both sides will need a coach I'm, I'm sure um, and who better than Paul Lambert who of course led, led you to so much success do you reckon you can get um, Paul Lambert in Involved back here? Yeah, obviously, it'd be, it'd be <laughs> nice to get him back, wouldn't it? Uh, what he done for this uh, club is, was amazing, and uh, you know, it'd be nice to get uh, the current the managers back. I'll, I'll be honest; it was um, when we when I when I first knew about it, it was discussed, and he was up for it, and and he was. Uh, he was going to come back, but I don't think that will be the case now. So, uh, <laughs> not, it's sure, not sure it's quite the same situation. <laughs> oh, gents, hope it's a brilliant day. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much.